This video will introduce Web of Science and discuss a few of its key features that you can use to make your searches more complete and ensure that you find the most important papers on your topic. Web of Science is an article index that indexes content from thousands of science journals and conference proceedings. It also includes interdisciplinary content from journals in the social sciences. For example, if we wanted to know the effect of climate change on food security in developing countries, we could do the following search in Web of Science, Climate Change and Food Security and Developing Countries. This produces 133 results. As you will remember from Module 2B in this tutorial, searches in article indexes can be made more relevant and efficient through the use of Boolean operators. Web of Science supports both the AND and OR operators. It also supports truncation and phrase searching. We can improve this search by using synonyms for our keywords. Let's try expanding our search using synonyms and the Boolean operator OR climate change or global warming, and food security or food supply or food insecurity and developing countries. In addition, we can use truncation to further expand our search. As you can see, this has a significant impact on the number of search results. Sometimes, for example, if we're doing a literature review, we want to find which papers were particularly influential in a topic of study. Web of Science provides an easy way to find these papers. After performing your search on the results page, at the top of the page we can use the drop down menu labeled Sort By and change it to Times Cited Highest to Lowest. This gives us a listing of the most cited papers within our topic, which is a way of measuring which papers have had the greatest impact on scholarship in a given area. Another useful option in Web of Science search results is the ability to narrow search results to include only review papers. This is useful when you're trying to find an overview of a topic. To do this, we go to the left side of the results page and go down to Document Types. We can then select Review as a document type and click Refine. This will allow us to browse only review papers. You can find more UBC Library videos at the UBC channel on YouTube on the UBC Library Teaching and Learning playlist. Also, you can get more help from your subject librarian, either by dropping by our library information desk or through chat reference on AskAway.